In this video, we are going to be using Tinkercad to design ourselves a 3D printed stamp. Now in this particular video, we're going to be making ourselves a dinosaur stamp, but don't feel like you have to follow me and actually do a dinosaur stamp like that one there. You can choose whatever design you would like to put on your stamp. So some other examples we've got here is a smiley face, got musical notes, basically whatever design you want. But if you'd like to follow along with me, I'm going to be making a dinosaur stamp. Okay, just to show you what it looks like in Tinkercad when it's finished, it's going to look something like this. So you can see the handle down the bottom, and then on the base, which you would dip into ink, we've got the little dinosaur design sticking out of the top. Okay, it's a fairly simple, de uh, fairly simple design, great for beginners. So let's get started by loading up Tinkercad.com. Okay, so just type that website address in. Remember, you do need a Tinkercad account or an Autodesk account to get started, so you will need to sign in with your account. Once you've signed in, just click the blue button that does pop up that says Create New Design, and you will end up on a page looking like this. Okay, as you can see in the middle of the page, we've got this blue work plane, and as I told you in a previous video, that the work plane is just a platform that we build our 3D designs onto. Okay, to get started on our dinosaur stamp today, we're going to build the handle of the stamp first. And we're going to be using our basic shapes that we see over here on the right hand side of the page. The first shape we're looking for is a half sphere. So if you scroll down through your basic shapes here, you will eventually come across a half sphere. So click on that once and then go and click again onto your work plane just to drop it into position. I'm going to scroll up on my mouse to zoom in. And I'm going to hold shift and then hold down my right mouse button and just move a little bit over so it's in the center and if you want to orbit around it remember just hold your right mouse button down and go for a bit of a fly around your design okay with our half sphere selected the first thing we want to do is hit these little arrows at the top and rotate it okay you can either pick it up and rotate it or you can type into the box there 180 degrees and that will just flip it onto its back and you've just turned your half sphere upside down the next thing we need to do is click back on that half sphere and do a bit of resizing. First thing we need to resize is the height. So click on this middle square just here and change it from 10 to 15 millimeters. And I also want you to click in one of these bottom corners and change it from 20 mil to 19 mil. It's not much of a change, but 19 by 19 and the height is 15. Okay, that's the start of the handle on our stamp. The next shape we're going to bring in is this paraboloid. Okay, so click on that once and then click again on your work plane. And we're going to do a bit of resizing here. So click on the bottom corner. So I'm just going on the bottom right corner here. And we're looking for 19 by 19 again. So it matches up with that half sphere we just drew in. The height of our handle though needs to come up a bit bigger. It's currently 20 mil. We need to make it 25 mil. Press enter. And then I'm going to click this little arrow at the top here to bring it up off the work plane. We want to bring it up a total distance of 15 millimeters. So just type 15 into that box or just drag it up until you see 15 millimeters in that box. Okay, and what we're going to do now is just sit this paraboloid on top of the half sphere. Now you could drag it across and you'd probably get it pretty close. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come around by holding my right mouse button down and look down on top of these two shapes. And I'm going to click and drag over the top of them to select them both. Once they're both selected, I'm going to use my Align tool at the top here. So I'm just going to click on that once. And I'm going to click on this middle black circle to align it horizontally. And then click on this middle black circle here to align it vertically. And you can see now that our half sphere and paraboloid are connected. One of them sitting on top of the other. If you would like, just click on that Align tool to turn it off. You can highlight both of these and change their color. Okay, what did I do in the example? I used orange. So I'm going to highlight both of these, change the solid color here to orange. Okay, so we've now got a handle for our stamp. So far, it's pretty easy. Zoom out a bit here now. Now, the next shape we want to bring in is back up the top of the basic shapes here. It's the box. Not the first one that you see, but it's this second one here. So click once on that and then click on your work plane to drop it in. There's a few things we need to do here to change its size. The first one is clicking in the bottom corner 
We want to change the width to 65 millimeters. Just going to move across here. Click back in that corner now. We've got 65 millimeters width, and we're going to go for 55 millimeters depth. And then the height, which is this middle square here, it needs to be 19 millimeters. Okay, and the final thing we need to do while this box is selected is change the radius. Now the radius is going to curve the corners of our shape, so they're not going to be sharp anymore. I'm going to change it to, actually I'll type in 4. Okay, and you can see now we've got like rounded corners on our stamp. Okay, and the other thing we need to do is we need to actually raise it up. Okay, so I'm going to click back on our box here and I'm going to click this little black arrow and pull it up a total distance of 37 millimeters. Okay, you could just type it into the box if you wanted to. We'll just drag that arrow up 37 mil. And we want to get this sitting on top of the handle. So what I'm going to do is just select both the handle and the stamp itself. And I'm going to go back to my align option here. And I'll horizontally and vertically align it once again. And if I just go for a bit of a fly around here now, so I orbit around, you can see that the stamp and the handle are connected to one another. I'm going to highlight these and just change them all to that solid orange color again. And if you want, you can even click this group button up the top, which will join those three shapes together and make them one big shape. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good. So that's our stamp made. The next thing we need to do is work out what design we want to put on the face of that stamp. Okay, so I said I wanted to use a dinosaur in this tutorial. So what I need to do is I need to find a picture of a dinosaur to put on there. I could draw it myself, but that would take forever and would take a lot of skill. So bugger that, I'm just going to do um, a dinosaur that somebody has already drawn for me. So what you need to do is you need to go and find yourself a vector website. Okay, a vector is a type of image that never loses its quality when you make it, um, when you resize it and make it bigger or smaller. It will, say, it will always stay nice and crisp. So a good website to get some free vectors from is this one here, Flat Icon. Just go to the website flaticon.com and all you need to do is do a search for whatever picture uh, you want to put onto your stamp. So I wanted a dinosaur, so I'm going to just search for the word dinosaur. And I'll see what pops up. Okay, you'll get some coloured stuff at the top. Forget about them, they're just advertisements, I think. We're looking for these individual pictures down here. Okay, so the black ones will work best. So there's heaps of good ones here. I'm probably going to run with, um, oh, I could go this little guy here. I could go that guy there. Actually, I'll go this one just here. So I'm going to click on it. it. Looks like we've got an ad coming up, so I'll close that. Now, when you click on it, It'll give you some options of how you want to download it. We want to download the SVG file. Okay, that's the vector image. So just click on that once. And you've got the free download here. It says you must credit the author. Um, but just click free download. And you'll see that it downloads over here onto your computer. Now once it's downloaded on your computer, it's ready to bring into Tinkercad for us to use. So I'm going to go back to Tinkercad. And I'm going to go to Import. And I'm just going to choose a file. You can drag it in if you know where it's saved. Or you can just go to choose a file. And I'm going to go onto my desktop where I saved it. And I should be able to see... What did it save as? Actually, it went to my downloads. Let me go to my downloads folder. There it is there, the dinosaur shape. Okay, so I'll double click on it. Um, and you don't need to change anything here, so just click import. Now we'll just take a moment to load it up and it will come out pretty big. So I'm going to zoom out here so I can see my dinosaur shape. I'm going to click on it once and I'm going to start resizing it. I'm going to hold shift when I resize it so it doesn't lose its um, actual shape. So it stays in proportion. It will adjust the width and the height at the same time. Now I'm going to bring it down to roughly, uh, I'll say around that 30 millimeter mark. Okay, and then I'm just going to move it back onto my work plane and zoom back in. Okay, now from here we need to get this little picture up on top of the stamp. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just change the height of this um, little dinosaur first of all. So I'm going to click on this 
middle box here and just change the height to six millimeters. Okay, you can see that just raises him up a bit. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull it up so it's pretty much at the right height of the stamp. Okay, so we're going to have to pull him up. Oh, actually, it's a bit of a guess at the moment. So pull him up around 50 millimeters there. That's good enough for now. We're going to adjust it again in a moment. The next thing we need to do is align this dinosaur in the middle of that stamp. So we just select both our dinosaur and the stamp. Use our align tool again to center align them like so and just turn your align tool off now looking at that dinosaur he's pretty much sitting flush with the face of my um, stamp so I need to pull him up a little bit higher so I'm just going to grab that little black arrow and pull him up until he comes out of the stamp now we don't want to have a little gap like you can see just there it must be still in the stamp otherwise it's not going to print properly so you can see him disappear a bit there so that looks pretty good Okay, he's still a bit too big for this stamp, so I might resize him and just put him back in roughly the middle like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'll just give him a different colour, not that it matters too much, but that looks pretty good now. So we have got our dinosaur stamp all ready for 3D printing. Now to export it, ready to send off to our slicing program, you need to go to export at the top here. And simply choose the STL file and bang it will start to download at the bottom of our screen there now that STL file can be loaded into a 3d printing program um, such as Cura and that will be all sliced up and then you can send it through to the printer and get it printed now I just want to show you one thing if I still got it no I don't have it open but when you do 3d print it you want to angle it um, at about 45 degrees to what it is now okay otherwise it won't print as well as it should okay that's about all I need to show you in this tutorial that's how you can make yourself a dinosaur stamp remembering you can replace that dinosaur image with any other vector that you would like just remember to go for a search here on flaticon.com and see what you can come up with. Okay, all the best for that tutorial.